Today on YouTube 101, in screen and cards. Welcome to Mana Studio. My name is Nathan. With me as always is my tech director, Ronald. He's the dinosaur back there on the keys. And welcome to YouTube 101 for churches. We're gonna demystify some of the YouTube features and options that churches may encounter. Today we're gonna to look at in screens and cards. We're gonna look at how you add in screens and cards, and then also how your church can best use those in screens and cards. So let's go to the YouTubes. So once your video is started uploading, like mine has here, then you'll go through these screens at the top. The third of which is video elements, and that is in screens and cards, in screens and cards. So in screens are just what they sound like. Once your video ends, it will keep up a screen of different options like next video, subscribe to my channel, that sort of thing, interactive elements that will stay at the end of your video until your video is over. And cards are little cards that pop up during your video that can have relevant information and things like that. So I'll show you both of those and how you might use them as a church. So in screen, we can click add or import from video if you've already made some. Once you've made an in screen for a video that you like, you don't have to make it again. You can choose this import from video option. You can see it'll import the in screen that I had for the other video already. If you haven't made one yet, then you can click add and it'll give you several options here of different configurations you can put up And this. These little boxes on here are different uh, bits of interactive content that will pop up at the end of your video. So you can see here, this one's got latest video and then import. This one's got one video and a little subscribe. Same thing here. This one's just got two videos up, that sort of thing. You can choose whichever one of those you like. I use this one here. So that's what it'll look like. This will pop up with my most recent upload. This one over here will pop up with whichever video YouTube thinks is best for that particular viewer to watch next um, from you. And then this middle thing, they can click on to subscribe to your channel. So that's always a good option for the end of your videos. Now, if you plan on putting up in screens on your videos, it's a good idea when you edit your videos to add like a 10 second, 15 second, something at the end that's not important that you can put that in screen over. It could just be a blank screen. On my videos, it's like a uh, black and white image of things that have happened before with a like more from Minus Studio box on the bottom. And here are your three cards down here and where they appear in the video. So take this and drag it to the point where you want them to start. And then you can drag each one to where you want, where you want it to start on your video, like that. So that way you can adjust the length of those things so they don't pop up over other content that you want people to see. You can also add elements. You can add a video like we did. You can add a playlist. If there's a playlist you want them to watch, maybe you want to add your worship service playlist at the end of your worship service videos. That would make sense. Subscribe. It's just grayed out because we already have that on there. You can add a link to your channel. And then finally, a link to an external site. Now, the external site can only be approved websites for your channel, and that is just your associated website, which is your probably your church's website. Uh, any merchandise sites you use that YouTube uses, like Teespring, where they can buy shirts and stuff, and any supported crowdfunding sites like GoFundMe or Kickstarter, those sorts of things. I don't know if those two are approved or not. Those are just examples. So you can't put any link to any website there. It's got to be very specific. So once you've chosen your in-screen elements, you've put the length where you want them, so they're exactly where you want them on the video, added anything else you want, then you click Save, and you've got an in-screen. And again, once you do this once and you like it, you can just import from video, and all you have to do is adjust the length of those things. Everything will be just how you want it. The next up, we have cards. Now, cards are little cards that pop up during your video. They're like annotations almost, but they're not annotations anymore to give uh, people more info. So here are the types of cards that you can add. You can add a video card linking to another video. You can add a playlist card linking to a playlist. So for instance, during your worship service, if you want a little card to pop up that says watch other worship services or something like that, you can. This goes straight to your channel. 
So it'll pop up with a link that can go straight to your church's channel. And then finally a link, just like we showed you with in screens, it can just be those specific links. So if you want it, them to go to your church website, you, you can do that with a card. So this is very similar to in screens, except you can customize them a bit more. So you can see this is what the card looks on like on the video here. It'll pop up. It'll say something like suggested introducing new songs. So this is another video and I can customize the message here. Add some teaser text here and that way there's what they see. So I could say watch another video about new songs and then they click on it. And it takes it to them and if they had info that little I then you'll see that teaser text and the thumbnail and it'll give them more information about that card so they can click on it and you, they can always hit that X to get rid of it. So I would go light on cards, only add cards that you think are very important to the viewer because it's annoying when they just pop up all of the time. Um, the best way to use them would be if you reference something else in your video, like if you are um, talking about new new people who want to learn more about your church can go to your website and you're saying that in the service, then a card that pops up right there that has a link to your website would be very good and very helpful to viewers. Wouldn't be annoying, it'd be very convenient. Or maybe if you're referencing that you have, you know, this uh, event every Friday night that's live streamed, then a playlist card could come up that they can click on that and go to that event's playlist, things like that. So just make sure your cards are relevant uh, and don't just spam your video with cards. Just use cards very sparingly and when it would be very convenient for the viewer to see that card. And you can see down here is where you select where that card will come up. So move this blue arrow around to the place in your video that you want the card to pop up. Or it may be easier if you just find the specific time when you want the card to come in and you can type that up there like 13 minutes, 52 seconds, etc., and it'll pop up right there in your video. So those are cards and end screens. Again, a couple important notes. If you're going to use end screens, it might be helpful to add some sort of end screen when you're editing your video that's okay for these cards to pop up over. And then with the cards, just make sure that when you add them, they are very relevant and they're not just a bunch of random info popping up all the time in your video because that just gets annoying and people might turn off the video. So just make sure that they are very relevant to what you're talking about at that moment or just what people need to know in that video. Thank you for joining me. Hope you learned something helpful today and stick around because more YouTube 101 for churches is on the way. So good luck on YouTube. And if you did find this video helpful, please subscribe to Mina Studio for more videos just like it. And I will see you back here next week.